okay the one one thing is in the show function so one change okay I use an if so get the direction so if direction equal to right then we go then we oh no sorry about that we don't need this so the change will be that I will not put it zero here I will put a frame in here actually we have to cast it to an int as I said so int frame and actually because we round it uh, there is no round function in C++ so none of the library although there are things like flow uh, so there are things like floor which will round down and there is round up but there is no simple round uh, according to my knowledge but uh, we can easily make one by casting it to an integer and whatever we cast we add 0 0.5 to it so for example in ca uh, uh, the casting will always actually cut anything after the the this dot so the floating point uh, oh yeah the floating after the floating point the cast will actually just cut it okay so in this case the 0 0.5 for example the frame is 0 0.5 we add 0 0.5 to it it is will it will be exactly one so it will give one but in case of 0 0.4 if we add 0 0.5 to it it's 0 0.9 and because the integer actually uh, uh, round down we can say that but actually it's cut every everything after the floating point uh, it will be zero so in this case we make the actual uh, rounding because uh, everything above uh, zero po everything above or equal to 0 0.5 will be 1 and everything under 0 0.5 will be uh, 0 so actually that's the rounding basically okay so we get this image and uh, yeah basically that's it uh, so we just cast the, the frame oh by the way we have to initialize the frame as well I initialize it frame equal 0, 0.0 so it will be 0 alright and then the next change will be in the move function uh, right here after under these actually under everything make it here but it's really not the matter just I want to make it here so in here we just add the frame to a specific number so for example frame plus equal 0 0.2 so we add 0 0.2 to the frame and then uh, we get the direction so if the direction equal to R so right if we go right uh, and the frame and frame is uh, greater or equal than 1.4 oh then we set back to zero okay so it basically mean bec uh, we can go 1.4 that is uh, for the right direction because you remember we have two image the first image is 0 and second is 1 obviously because we start from 0 okay so if we are above 1.4 then it would then it will run it to 2 which is already the image for the left direction and uh, so uh, we will show the image from 0 uh, to 1.4 uh, yeah that's it uh, because 1.4 will be rounded to 1 0 will be rounded to 0 0 point, uh, 0 point 4 is rounded to 0 so yeah that's it and then we have to check the other direction so as if direction equal to left and frame is greater or equal than 3.4 
then we check uh, then we set back frame equal to 1.5 okay that's it so the 3.4 will be free if we round it and that's okay because we have the 2 and the 3 image for the left direction so basically that's about the simple animation although this will give a little bit different result than you may uh, wait uh, so I will show you in a moment mm, I think we can compile it right now and run it okay there is no animation or something I think I forget to save it and call it frame instead of drain mm, yeah I guess now oh as you can see we have the animation as you can see the animation is going only one direction so it's right uh, I cannot change the direction even if I go backward it will not change it to left we will make it in a moment but the main problem is that it is always moving so not just moving whenever I actually pressing the key it is moving always so that's why there is that moving va uh, variable which will be set to zero at in the constructor so moving equal to zero and uh, and I make a function which will set this uh, moving so wait moving oh set moving set moving and I get a bool b and uh, moving equal to b that's it so I can set from the main function the moving so player colon colon set moving all right and then the next thing will be uh, that I make an another function, a setter function for the direction as well because we want to set it from the main <laughs> main. So void player uh, set direction and it makes a char c. Okay and. Uh, We just check that is it uh, R or L, so not write something like A, the user. Okay, so if uh, if C equal to R or C equal to left uh, and, direc <coughs> and direction not equal to C, so we check that is it R or L and the direction is uh, not equal actually we need a parenthesis here because the end has a bigger precedence right there so uh, if C or so if C or L and the direction is not equal already to C then we set to th then we set it so make direction equal to C and if we are going right we just set the frame if direction equal to right, uh, right so if we are going right then we set the frame equal equal to 0, 0.0 else we set the frame to so 1.6 uh, yeah that's it and uh, now we need to just call this function from the main loop so I just go back to game.cpp uh, where we actually make the things like here and I set the moving value from for the player to true so layer 1 set moving and make it true and we do the similar if we are moving in the other direction and we do the similar if we just release the key except we set the moving to false like that okay 
So we just set the moving. Whenever I press the key, the moving will be 1. Whenever I release the key, the moving will be 0. Not big thing, but uh, I will show you why is that important in a moment. Although first of all we have to make one more thing. I have to set the direction in here. So if the direction is 0, so if we are going left, I uh, 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 make it left. So player 1, set direction and make it left. Uh, in if it is one, then I make it. Um, so I make it right. Okay, and we need to make uh, one more check in the m in here. So in the player the CPP, uh, in the move function, which is right here, we only add the frame 0 0.2. So we only do these things if we are moving. As you may remember, we set the moving value to true whenever we're moving and false whenever we are not moving. So make moving equals to true. Oh, what am I talking about? So if wo uh, moving, okay, so if moving equals to true, I wanted to say that, then we do these things. And uh, if it is false, then we don't do animation. That oh, we have to put the set moving and things like that to here as well. So, wait, set moving, and this will wait a boolean value. And wait, set direction, and this wait a char. Okay, so we have to put it to the header as well, as it will not know that there is a function like that. Okay, now it compiled perfectly, so we can try to run. Okay, it is not moving if I am not moving, and if I press the key, as you can see, it's moving. Now try to change the direction, and that's it basically. As you can see, the moving is uh, pretty much work. Uh, yeah. Okay, so probably you understand what this moving uh, so how this moving work so we set the moving uh, boolean value to true whenever we pressing the key and whenever we release the key we set it back to zero so if we, if we are not moving we don't make any animation okay the set direction will actually uh, change the direction to right or left we do that from the main loop so whenever I uh, just uh, uh, pressing the left key it will set the direction whenever the right key it will set the direction to right okay and I always add uh, 0 0.2 to this frame vari variable and round it actually cast it to an integer a whole number so we can use it as an index number to our frame Okay, these clips are set in here, so we can use the 0th, 1st, 2nd, and 3rd variable, because there is 4 and 0 through 3. Yeah, and uh, if the frame, if the direction equals to right, then we start from the first picture. So if the direction is right, we start from the first picture. If the direction is left, then we start from the f uh, f third picture, which is the which is one, which is actually second picture because starts from zero. So thi this is the zero picture, one and second picture. But because one point six will be rounded to two, this will so that's why we give uh, 1.6 to it. Okay, basically, and uh, and here if we are moving, then we just do the thing. So if we are bigger than 1.3, we set back to zero. I hope this is clear. I I don't think that this is hard. Okay, and one of the last thing for this game is coming the enemy. The enemy will be not. Uh, uh, terrible, terrible uh, hard as well, 
So basically, uh, we have to uh, copy this collision function again. 